Hey, Rod. Um, I know it's been a really long time since my last video and I was like really hot and heavy to do it fast But then life happened and a lot of other projects and different things and a race and all this other stuff. So um, I just want to show you this little clip that happened today um, I didn't give up on this project, but after what happened today. I'm a little bit more cautious um, Just got to show you guys be super careful with this stuff um, it was kind of like a mechanical problem. It wasn't anything that we were doing wrong as far as the way we were wiring stuff. Um, this, uh, this golf cart or go-kart that you're gonna see, we were riding it around and we had a sporadic issue when we would slide it, it would shut down and then give us a code. So we brought it inside to figure it out. Um, then the incident happened. And after we were able to figure out what actually was going on wrong, and what it was, and I'll send some pictures or post some pictures too, is that one of the um, mounts for the motor, the motor plate was really close to some of the points. And the, when it was flexing and doing these skids to a stop, I guess it made contact very briefly um, and the BMS or the motor controller shut it down. Um, well, we brought it back into the shop not knowing this and I go and connect the negative terminal to the motor and all hell breaks loose. And it was completely arced there to the point to the motor plate. And it gave a quick spark out of there. And at that time I just kind of let go. And I'm like, shit, you know, I just got out of there. And that was probably the wrong thing to do. Um, because then that negative terminal from the battery fell, well not terrible, cable, fell and hit the chassis. And then it went all all in it was all that juice from those batteries all to that motor and it welded around those points you could see sparks flying it was just like a cutting torch like a plasma cutter almost and that thing just took off into a computer monitor and, and station and into my paint booth <laughs> and uh luckily no injuries penny uh was able to jump out of the way real quick and she was on skates she ran right at it right after when we were trying to make sure we disconnected everything. Uh, the motor was completely shot after that. It may be rebuildable. Um, the batteries were very hot and we took them outside and we ran some water through them. So yeah, this is a wake up call. And then I had a wake up call uh, earlier in the week also when I was um, out with the race team and we have these small um, batteries. They're like RC car batteries that we run the management system with and we had two on a charger it was a smart charger in the trailer and they combusted randomly on us as well so um yeah two lessons and two very close calls within the matter of days so um yeah i'm st i'm still on the project but i want to give you this little warning and we all need it and and we need to be careful with this stuff in the future everybody knows you know the petrol stuff we know what to look out for the electric stuff is kind of new to all of us so we're we're kind of learning and luckily nobody got hurt. So, all right. Thanks for watching.